Welcome to First Call Medical. We are a leading diagnostic testing facility specializing in Holter and cardiac event monitoring service. For more information on our services, please call 1-800-274-5399. The following is a demonstration for the proper application of a Digitrack XT Holter monitor. Your Digitrack XT Holter monitor was delivered to you in a case with a set of lead wires. You also received a plastic bag that contains your Holter kit. Inside the Holter kit, you will find a Holter hookup diagram, razor if needed, alcohol prep pads, scrubby, two packs of electrodes, one AAA battery, and a patient diary. To get started, proper skin preparation is essential to a successful Holter hookup. For some men, Shaving the five locations for the electrode patches is necessary. Following the yellow diagram included in your Holter hookup kit, please shave an area three inches by three inches for each location. Try to avoid scar tissue or wound areas for electrode placement. At this time, it is now necessary to clean the skin in the five locations using the alcohol prep pads. After the skin has been thoroughly cleaned, use the scrubby to slightly abrade the skin to remove dead skin cells. We are now ready to prepare the monitor for application to the patient. Open one of the two packs of electrodes that contain the five electrode patches. Look for the number five in the upper right corner of the electrode pack. The other pack of electrodes is for backup in the event that an electrode falls off. Place the five electrodes on a table. Snap the five lead wires onto the electrodes. Open the battery compartment in the back of the monitor by sliding the latch. Dangle the cloth strip outside the monitor and insert the AAA battery on top of the cloth strip according to the polarity diagram located inside the monitor. Once the battery has been inserted, slide the latch closed. It is important to note that the patient should not remove the battery for any reason during the recording process. We are now ready to apply the monitor to the patient. Following the yellow hookup diagram in the Holter kit, peel and stick each patch with the color-coded lead wires to their proper location. After the electrode patches have been applied, it is suggested that you tape a stress loop for each electrode site in order to remove tension on the electrode site. Plug the lead wire jack into the monitor. It is now time to start the monitor. Press the gold start button in the lower right corner of the monitor. You will see the status of your Holter hookup. Press the gold start button. You will see a message at the bottom of the screen. Leads OK. Press the right arrow button. You will see the patient's EKG waveform scroll by on channel 1. Press the right arrow button. You will see the patient's EKG waveform scroll by on channel 2. Press the right arrow button. You will see the patient's EKG waveform scroll by on channel 3. Press the right arrow button. Now, continue to press the right arrow button until you arrive at the Date Time tab. Confirm the date and time. Make changes to the date or time by using the arrow keys. If the date and time are correct, arrow back to the Start Recording tab. Press the gold Start button to begin recording. You will see the current time and you will also see the time remaining for monitoring. Slide the monitor into the plastic belt clip and fasten the belt clip to the patient's belt or pants. The patient can now carefully put their shirt back on. 
it is important to note that pulling or tension on the lead wires will create artifact on the EKG recording. If an electrode patch falls off, please reapply it or use one of your three extra patches provided. Please make notes in your diary as they pertain to your cardiac symptoms or activity. Make diary notes when medications are taken. Do not shower, swim, or bathe with the monitor on. At the end of 24 hours, return the monitor in the prepaid, preprinted FedEx pack or return the monitor to the location where it was applied.